Welcome to Party of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or however many times you have come to my channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to be going over my December journal layout. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I did for January. Okay, so if you're new here, this is my journal. It used to be a 2019-2020 planner. Or maybe it was 2018. I think it was, yeah, 2019-2020. I converted it in, into a reading journal. I, I Air quotations, because not really. Um. So yeah. Um, these stickers were made by, um, Danielle. She is the, the girl who, or she, not, excuse me, she's not a girl, woman. She is the illustrator for my, uh, profile picture as well as the picture in my, um, intro. She is a fabulous illustrator. She's one of my friends. And yeah, enough about the cover. If you want to see more in depth of like the stickers, please check out my first, um, reading journal video so yes um we're just gonna flip on to this was my december or this is my december spread excuse me but i do like to go over the end so on the last the last one i didn't actually um fill in the books just because it got really tedious after a while and i was just like mm, i don't really like that I did actually get rid of this theme right here, which was putting the um, envelope here to have a flip through, just because, I, as you can see, I wasn't filling it in. The only thing I filled in was books that I forgot. So yeah, um, but yeah, this was the spread for that, and let's just move on to the next book or next next month, excuse me. So this is the December spread. I did end up using two different graphic or comic books because I didn't have enough of one. Um, and there are some layout changes. So um, if you watched my November one, I kind of did a different layout and I did enjoy that layout, but I still wasn't using it to its full potential. I wasn't, I'm still, I still wasn't using it as a reading journal. So I did come up with a new layout again um, this month. And hopefully, I have actually been using it quite a bit now. Um, I'm actually recording this video late. So it's already quite filled in already. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I used two different graphic novels. I always do put the graphic or comic book name or title page in here. So we'll see that. Um, and yeah, this is kind of what I came up with. Again, um, I did put the monthly month on here and highlight it what the month was i found these at michael's i believe um, and it's just the weekly one and i just go went ahead and cut it so that this tuesday because it's the start of the week um i do have my reading or not reading but videos that i'm supposed to do i didn't end up doing that one it didn't drop yet so um yeah so um i wrote down the videos and what i have planned and i also put the day in and then i put week one tbr um, and these are the books that i read in the first week um of december again these are some from the other graphic novel so i alternated this backdrop is actually wrapping paper um and so is the other one where it says let it snow there are two wrapping papers that i have um and i alternated the the comic books so again, um, if you didn't know, I don't know when this, I'm pretty sure this video will be out after, but the Shaded Choice Awards was being, is being premiered on the 8th. I'm leaving this open for me to write in the TBR for the week two. I have just a random blank spot, um, but I do plan on, I had, I couldn't, I can't remember what I said I was going to put right here, but I did actually have something that I wanted to put here and now it's completely gone. So there's that. Again, with the week spread um, to write in my videos, my monthly, my month or the week that's highlighted um, and so on. And then I did combine two weeks into one page just because I didn't have enough pages for a separate. And then this is the last week of December. And again, with my 
um, where I'll write in the last week of what I'm going to be reading. And then this is the last spread. So I did actually end up going through when I was reorganizing my pen pal um, hat box. I did end up finding this graph paper. And I was like, oh, I really like that idea. I might change it just a little bit. But like I said, as you can see, I am highlighting all the days that I have actually read. And that's what I want to do. And I wish I would have stuck with a color scheme and I didn't. But this is my daily reading tracker to see if I've actually read every single day. Today is actually the 6th and I have read every single one of these days. So I do need to highlight those. But the name of, oh, there it is. Before I forget. The name of this graphic or comic book is Fallen Angel Reborn by Peter da David and J.K. Woodward. Um, and then the second comic book that I used was Ruining Christmas. Um, a Christmas cart preview. I don't have the name of the office on here. I forgot to cut that out. So this is supposed to be strange to dreamer. Also, this was honestly hilarious. Um, so this little kid ends up pulling this out and then he wipes the coal across his um, nose and he looks like Adolf Hitler. So like, yeah, um, it's supposed to be crude humor. Um, but I didn't put that in here, obviously, because I just wanted this part of, like, the joy. But I did actually end up putting in the reading bookshelves on this one. Again, I do need to fill in. So you guys are getting a sneak peek of some of the books that I've already read. I actually do need to read it or fill it in because I have read six books. But yeah, that is my December reading spread. Like I said, I did change quite a bit of things around in it um I really enjoy this spread I I like it I think it's one of my favorites as far as the actual layout and usability of this um still I, I still don't have it down pack I do like this one I think I'm thinking about condensing um my TBR of what I'm reading for the month on to one whole page um condensing my weeks down to another spread and then leaving my last pages open for like um reading tracking um this tracking and my bookshelves and things like that because I'm still not quite loving what I'm doing I'm loving the comic book layout but I'm not really loving how I'm writing in my books but yes that is all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check my description or where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as all the videos that I talked about. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, just imagine that you did and come back again. Until next time, keep imagining.